What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the Sanctuary Freezes Over during the Hellish Holiday Event. I know this has been out for just a little bit, but I wanted to go over it because I haven't made a video about it. And it's so great that Diablo has some more content coming and it's just freaking fantastic. So we got a little, a lot to cover, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so we wish you one hell of a holiday season. I hope everybody has had had a great holiday season. It's been fantastic. So what has happened is slay the hell's helper helpers to recover gifts. So what we are Blizzard has done is this is the big news that we're talking about is December 16th to February 5th is when this event has started. I know I'm a little late getting to the party, but it's just been awesome through the holidays and i haven't been able to put out any content but it's great that i'm able to now so it appears that blizzard has extended season 27 to february 5th because this event is going to go on from december 16th to february 5th which makes sense because we are going to be extending the season and we only have season 28 left and then we have diablo 4 so if February 5th is going to be the end date for season 27, then a couple days later or a week later starts uh, season 28. Each season, you guys know, typically three, four months, which is right around the time that Diablo 4 is going to be out. So it's just great that they've extended this and they're most likely just pulling all the devs and pulling everybody over to help finish that game because I really hope it's good since the announcement came so many years ago. Okay, so we have the holiday gift event, Slay the Helpers to Recover Gifts. So this whole thing is about getting the holiday gift. It's a one-time use, one per player. And you're gonna find this from killing treasure goblins or complete, or killing greater rift guardians, okay? So once you get one of these gifts, you're gonna be able to always get the following items. You're gonna get five of all of the um, bounty uh materials which is great and then you get arcane dust death breast forgotten souls reusable parts and field crystals all fantastic we always need resources in diablo 3. now here's the thing that is fantastic and i advise you guys to really hit hard on you know this event and take full advantage because i am one of these people that i'm going to talk about so each gift can also include one of the following items wings pets transmogs now what sticks out cosmetic wings so you can get the rare you have a chance to get the rarest item in the game but more importantly you have chances to get pets and transmogs that you don't have or you weren't able to get okay which is just awesome and then also down here in miscellaneous you have the sword of uh mediocrity and then you have uh blood shards and then coal now there is a note here each player once a player owns any of the pets or wings from the above list you're unable to get a duplicate of them and then uh any recovered gifts otherwise you get a lump of coal so if you get a lump of coal it's because you already have the transmog the pet or the wings now i will still say the drop rate here to get the cosmetic wings is very very low but still the odds of just being able to do these significantly better we have one right here we have a gift okay and then we have a puzzle ring so i want to talk about a few things really quickly so it's easy to just do rift guardians in my experience it doesn't matter what level you do the rift guardians at it absolutely does not matter we just completed a 90 and got and got this holiday gift you can come over here and you can complete a level one you know a level 13 50 doesn't matter the odds seem about the same as far as getting the gifts and it's about 50 percent now here's a real trick we do have a video about how to get ancient puzzle rings right and getting using our angelic crucibles from the seasonal theme to make these sanctified so that way you have ancient puzzle rings as opposed to normal now the reason that we would want to come in here and, and use this to get a ancient puzzle ring is so that way every goblin in there has a high chance to drop us a a holiday gift because we do get them from treasure goblins so it's about 50 percent on a rift so i want to go in and just sanctify this and i want to show you guys the the drop rates here about to get it i mean there's there's times where it's like one or two and you can get six or seven so let's go in and just test it yay let's kill all these goblins and just see how many we can get 
Okay, because it's it's very important to see. Oh, look at that. We got a blue one, too. Sick. Absolutely fantastic. So let's just clean all this up. All right. It doesn't look like we got any gifts out of these ones, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. Looks like just some legendaries here. Another angelic crucible, which is fantastic. Let's just drop these. We're going to try to be very particular about what we pick up. Let's continue on. And kill all these goblins just to see how many we get. Dang, double blue goblins back to back? Oh my god, what are the odds of that, guys? Holy crap. Now keep in mind, it does have to be a treasure goblin. So there goes one gift. One holiday gift. Boom. So we got one. Fantastic, right? Helm. Okay, so sweet. We're going to go in and just finish this, and then we'll come out and see how many we got. It'd be awesome if we could get a couple. And, oh my god, and we got Snitchly for the video. Let's go. Alright, so it looks like we got one. Man, we didn't get the streamer loot there, guys, but... Um, we did get we did get one, which is just great. That's fantastic. Oop, inventory. So we got one, which is just really great. Again, guys, it's completely random, and the drop rates again are the same as they would be for doing the Rift Guardians every time you kill a um, treasure goblin. But you do have better odds, and this is just much faster running through something like this as opposed to uh, doing rifts. But if you're a Rift Guardian grinder, definitely do those. Use all your puzzle rings. You want to do this anyway to farm materials. So definitely try that. Now, I will say I don't think that killing Greed gives you one. Because technically, I don't know if he's a treasure goblin per se. I think he is the treasure goblin. But I don't know if, if he drops one or if he counts. So... But those are the two ways to do it, guys. So get in there and grind. Let's uh, let's just drop one. Let's just drop these two for the video and just see. Right? One, two. And just drop them. It doesn't look like we got anything out of them. Just parts. Super okay with that because that gives you so many parts. And see, we got two glowing ores. So that means the two uh, cosmetic items that I got, I already have. Or I would have gotten. Because you have a chance to get one every single time uh, you open a present. So we got two glowing ores, which means two items that would have dropped, I already have. So that's a good sign. We're just hoping to get those cosmetic wings. But that is the Sanctuary Freezes Over during the Hellish Holiday event. It's such a big title. But guys, get out there, grind these presents. You have until February 5th at 11 a.m. PST to finish the event and try to get your cosmetic wings and any cosmetics, transmogs, etc. that you don't already have. So please do it. Get out there and grind. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, like it. That really does help out the channel, guys. And let me know if you've already found all your cosmetics from this event. Let me know. As always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.